This is Jordan Peterson, and he is the most popular clinical psychologist, author, and professor in the world. Peterson is using a daily routine, which he stated will maximize productivity and focus. And this is Ronald, a person who is easily distracted, sometimes too perfectionistic, but still eager to get the maximum out of himself. And that person is me. So for the coming seven days, I'm going to try Jordan Peterson intense and hopefully productive daily routine. At the end of the video, you will see if I completed it successfully, why you should or should not do the challenge yourself. So let's get started. Peterson's routine consists of three levels. So here are exactly 50 seconds to explain. Phase one, morning. Wake up early between 6 and 8 a.m. consistently. Plan out my day, prioritize tasks, and set today's goals I want to achieve. Eat high protein and high fat breakfast, no carbs. Work in two to three hour working blocks on academic projects like research, paper, or scripts for my channel. And keep small breaks in between. Afterwards, two to three hour working blocks again. Phase two, afternoon. Taking a break of 60 minutes for self-care and relaxation. Work two to three hour chunks now focused on personal projects like video ideas, working on business ideas, etc. Taking a break, and yes, another working block. Phase three, evening. Taking some time off with loved ones. Work two to three hour chunks with now the focus on reading and writing. And finally, sleep at 10.30 p.m. to get ready for the next day. Hey, good morning, guys. It's just day one, and we just started with uh, seven days of doing Jordan Peterson daily routine. I just woke up, and for the next days, I have to wake up consistent. And I never really thought about the benefits of waking up consistently. But as I'm currently reading now Atomic Habits by James Clear, I know why. When I'm repeating my behavior of waking up consistently, I build up momentum. In this way, it's less likely to skip or forget about my habits because I remove the when I'm waking up. This will increase my overall focus and clear up my mental energy for more important tasks and decisions during the day. So the second habit Jordan Peterson is following is to prioritize his tasks, plan out his day and also set goals for that day. For the rest, I think three weeks, I already start with planning out things. So normally what I'm doing right now is that I'm making a to-do list every day uh, for the task I have to do that day. And uh, normally I'm doing that in a paper, but for this exercise, I'm going to do it online. So I have made a planning for this week. So for every day, I having the goals I want to achieve. So yeah, for now I prioritize my tasks. I plan out my day, what I'm going to do today. Um, so I'm quite hyped for this day and what it will bring um, and how productive I will be and uh, what goals I'm going to achieve. Um, but to make things more challenging for myself, I also added dares to my day. And the dare for today is to run. Oh, and if I don't finish those seven days of my challenges, I failed and I have to start all over again from the start. So now it's day two and what Jordan Peterson normally is doing in the morning is eating a high protein and high fat meal. Ideally, it will help if you eat it without high carbs. The disadvantage of high carbs is that you can get an energy crash, which results in decreasing energy and feelings of fatigue, although the average human will. So for my breakfast, I'm making five eggs with some nice bacon. After I ate my belly full, I'm ready to go. No, not to go on my phone, idiot. Oh my god, he's swearing. Why is he swearing to me? No, just to work on my first working block of the day. And Jordison's main focus will be on academic projects. So I'm doing that as well with working on my research of my next video. The dare for today is that I'm going to focus on being an active listener. Normally I have a hard time with giving my full focus when people are speaking. Not that I do that on purpose, like you saw the fly in the start, 
but unconsciously. So tonight I'm going to call with a friend and I will be focusing on being an active listener. And my goal is to be more engaged in my conversation. So what I'm going to do is let him finish speaking and don't really talk that much myself and also really focus on what he is saying to me. It's now day three and I see now how important it is to use your time wisely and take your time to recharge. Normally in my free time when I'm having a break, I'm going from my laptop to my phone and that is my break and that's not the best and most efficient way uh, how I can use the time for my break. But for now, I'm just walking away from my laptop, have a technology detox, take some time to get some tea, or maybe just to relax and do nothing. So my dare for today is to take a 10 minute meditation. And as you saw in my previous video, I'm not really a big fan of doing a meditation, but that's more because I'm just impatient. But yes, normally when I'm doing it, it's really clear up my mind. So that's what I'm going to do now. So it's now day four in the afternoon and it's time for a nature break. Spending some time outdoor is the perfect opportunity to get some fresh air in, connect with nature and even get energy from the walk itself. So maybe you are feeling low energy Walking for 30 minutes, 50 minutes can already give you a boost in your energy levels. So I definitely recommend it to you guys to get some time off for just to walk in the nature or even if to, in the street if you don't really have nature close to you. So the dare for day four is to read 25 pages straight. Jordan Peterson loved to read many hours in his day. So this is a perfect challenge for me. Besides my current book, Atomic Habits, which I'm reading right now, I want to read another book and I'm going to start with YouTube Secrets. But the question is, is it still a secret when everyone can buy it? I don't think so. Good morning, guys. It's now day five and Jordan Peterson is normally doing after his lunch break personal project for himself. So currently I have to do some A-roll shots for my next YouTube video. And besides that, I'm also going to work on some business ideas, which I already have a long time in my mind. By the way, I'm also using the app Rise, which will help me with increase my overall focus and productivity. By the way, this is not a sponsored app or something. You know, I'm a small YouTuber, so please sponsor me. But what I like about Rise is that I can use timers like Pomodoro which will help me and you to set time limits, which will finally increase your productivity levels for focused work. The app also tracks browser activities and your activities on your laptop, so that you can also be aware how you're using your time for what. So after the time rings, after 25 minutes of Pomodoro, it's time to get a break. And afterwards, you guess it, another working block. So the dare of today is doing a maximum uh, of the push-ups I can do. As getting a quick workout between your working hours and working blocks, it can help you with increase your energy levels and in this way you can also be more productive. And this also gives your dopamine levels a boost, but no, if you already ate 5 chocolate bars, this doesn't count. I see what you did there. So it's now day six in the evening and Jordan Peterson is normally taking some time in the evening with loved ones. Positive interactions with loved ones like eating dinner or just calling each other can boost your mood and contribute to a better or more positive mental well-being. Laughter, sharing experiences and emotional support can have a positive impact on your stress levels, your overall focus and your happiness. So the dare for day six is to learn a new language. And as I'm fascinated by the Icelandic culture, I'm going to choose for Spanish. I mean Icelandic. Can he speak Icelandic after one hour of doing Duolingo? Once upon a time, there was a guy named Ronald. His dream was to speak Icelandic. 
after he visited Iceland in the spring of 2023. After an hour of working his ass off on Duolingo, he was finally speaking his first words. Mama? No, I mean his first Icelandic words. Hallo, er heter Ronald Oherfra Hollandi. Kverni hefrufa. So now it's the end of day 6 and we're coming close to the end of this challenge. So for me this challenge was interesting due to the easily distracted person I still am today. But I love the way Jordan Peterson is structure his day. Especially the working blocks in combination with the Pomodoro technique was really helping me to get more things done in the day. So I think this week I worked 4 times more than I normally do. So in this week I worked as much as I normally do in the month due to my procrastination, low focus and easy distraction. So the real benefit I have experienced is an increase in my productivity levels and my level of focus. And because I didn't procrastinate, it also gave me less stress, which finally gave me the benefit of feeling more fulfilled and which finally will end up in more happiness. So it's our day 7 and the last dare of this challenge is not being on my phone the whole freaking day. In this way I want to get the maximum out of my day without distracting myself with stupid things like my phone, social media and you know cat videos. Meow. 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 <laughs> So in my evening working block, I'm going to focus on the reading and writing part as Jordan Peterson is doing that as well. As I normally read in the morning, I think reading in the evening will also help me with improving my sleep quality and that it's like easier to fall asleep. Um, this will also help me the next day with better productivity in the morning. But for now, I'm going to read the YouTube Secrets book um, as I already made a start with it uh, this whole week. And after I did my reading part, it's time for the writing part. And this part is especially focused on writing down things in my journal, like my feelings I having in today, uh, maybe the thoughts I having, and also emotions which maybe occur this day. And this is a useful tool for self-expression, self-discovery, but also my creativity. And when you're doing this every evening, it can be a useful tool for your mental health. So was this challenge a success? I think, yes, it was. If you want to sacrifice your time instead of scrolling on social media and being productive, having a higher focus and want to get shit done, this challenge can be something for you. But I think you should really be aware how important those breaks in between are. And last but not least, if you struggle with finding a good daily routine, I will leave two videos right here which can help you with that situation. That's it for today. Thank you for watching guys. And don't forget, everything starts with you. Peace.